emojis in the chat, pips. Crying emojis in the chat. Oh my lord. We all know that cat is literally downstairs crying after this spectacle of a stream last night. Oh my lord. What is up everybody? It's your boy Duty back again with another video. And I kind of wanted to give my thoughts on the whole uh DSP meaningful uh stream last night where apparently that's right folks, Fat Cat is back. That's right. Cat Burnell was on stream for the first time in over 5 years. That's right. And I watched a good deal of it, and I watched a few people restream it. I clipped it myself. I have a video out there of their reveal, and I have some um, I have some thoughts on this. I do. Uh, some of it will be constructive. Uh, I will try to limit the fat jokes seriously because I don't want to beat a dead horse. Uh, no pun intended there. Uh, but I want to give some valid criticism on the reveal. And then I want to give some harsh criticism because um, I think it's pretty fucking, it's, it's just pretty fucking ridiculous, it is. And uh, real quick, uh, I, I got WPIG up here, big ups to uh, big ups to Alt here, he restreamed the yesterday with Piece of Peace. And I just wanted to play it because his reaction pretty much sums up my reaction to the whole thing. When this was happening, uh, and I was actually watching, I was watching this stream I think, and then I was switching back and forth between him and Brand Dude. And I was just like, you know what? My thoughts exactly. My thoughts exactly. So let's play this clip real quick. And then I'll get into it because, yeah, your boy Duty has a lot to say on this whole, uh, this whole, I'm just going to call it the milkening and the rebrandinging of uh, Mr. Philip Burnell. Be on your best behavior only because if you haven't noticed, cat. the moderators are here tonight. Oh, it's I cat. asked them to be here it's on cat. purpose. Yep. By the way, big ups to Duty. Duty called it. Duty posted on Twitter yesterday, Fat Cat Reveal, Fat Cat Visit. And everybody poo-pooed me, even all, big up all, you know, thank you for the, the stream here. But even all poo-pooed me and a bunch of the other detractors. But big ups to Duty for calling it. That's right. Although I had a couple other theories like Rambo and stuff. But I still called the Fat Cat. And no one, no one stood by me except for myself. That's right, folks. So let's keep going. So big ups to Duty. So that we could have a nice civil stream tonight so they're all here and since they're all here that means if you guys act up and you reference is it the like tractor a thing is it and is it like a thing shit, that you're going to end up getting timed uh -huh. out go ahead is it like a thing that she's going to be in the documentary so and that oh is that like, if that's he's just going to drop her right now like might as well on his terms and then that's a very I don't good point get 400 emails tomorrow on my day off from people begging me to be unbanned from the stream okay okay whatever fair enough can we start all right, ready? I hope you're not letting her see the stream. Holy fuck. All right, good evening, oh everyone. My oh, oh, my God. Yes. Oh, oh, my God. God. She's fat. Welcome. Oh, my God. She's actually Brunel fat. Family help. Stream oh, my God. Here on DSP Gaming. Oh, oh my God. God. How she's are you fat. all this evening? I hope that you're doing well. <laughs> Phil, and I welcome Phil, you here to the show. Don't do this, Phil. First of maybe many. We'll see. Phil, oh, As my God. We have Jasper here. And by the way, that Phil, was a She's got the same thing in her hair that DSP does. She's got a giant crack, too. When Fill we turned, up. when we came in here and turned on the cameras and everything, we didn't Fill even know we'd be afraid to come in here because remember, I'm gonna we've ah, not even ah. done a stream together. Fill since up. We had Why Jasper. do this, Philip? That's up. how long it's been. That's the last how long time Cat was been. on stream was 2018. Fill right? up. So good evening, everyone. Fill like up. The audience. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay, so real quick, uh, just alt, uh, alt initial impression of fill up, fill up, like a, the almost of a disappointment. Spot on, oh, spot on. I feel the same exact way. I had like, initially I was like, oh my God, it's Cat. And in my, like I smiled and I was like, oh my God, this is going to be a ton of content. People are going to be going crazy. The memes are going to be outrageous. But then uh, I'm being honest. Your boy dude is going to be honest with you. I felt bad. Like I was like, shit, why is she on? Why is he bringing this poor woman on stream? Why? Leave her be. Like, she gets enough shit without even being on stream. You know she's going to be attacked. You know people are going to make fun of her. You know people are going to meme on her. She's not mentally well. And I'll get into that not mental wellness thing in a little bit. But, you know, initially I was, like, joyous and happy because it was just going to be content and the memes. 
But since literally, literally, when Alt was saying Phil, I felt the same way. I was like, fuck. Why? Why is she on? What's the point? Why? Why is she on? Why is he torturing this poor woman? Why? And in the back of my head after that pass, I was like, all right, well, let's check it out because there's going to be a clusterfuck and it's going to be great content. So let's watch it. The other thing, too, is, yes, I agree with piece of piece. The the ball spot, the matching ball spots is uh, <laughs> is on point for some odd reason. I have no clue. Typically in women with thinning hair and stuff like that, that's usually an indication of um, either alopecia or a skin condition or it could be thyroid, a thyroid condition. And we all know that Phil and Kat have been going to appointments, doctor appointments and stuff. We don't know if it's for Phil or for Kat. And it could be a thyroid issue. That's why, you know, the bigness is there and possible hair loss. So I'm not going to make light of that because, uh, you know, your boy Duty's going through a thyroid condition himself. Uh, so it's not funny. So if it is, I hope she gets better because that shit sucks. Um, but again, why Phil? Why bring her on? It just makes no fucking sense. It just really, really doesn't. And I'll give my two cents on why he, he brought her on. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Here's the deal. We're just here to hang out with you guys tonight. Yeah, right? dude, sure this has, this has to questions. be like a, some What's kind of building on? code violation having her in the same room <laughs> you know, as another human being. Questions, but like, there's not enough, start, like, air to breathe. There's not enough space to move. I think WPIG needs a new mascot. I'm not going to lie. One, no we had some kind of fantasy going here, well, and it's gone. It's so if fucking you gone. If you fun of any stream chatter, Derek or otherwise, you're a fucking loser. It's gone, dude. Announcement. I don't know who put that seed in yeah. everyone's mind. What? What, what not, was that? This is not a pregnancy announcement. Oh, yeah, I don't know okay, who yeah. put that mm -hmm. seed in yeah. everyone's mind. It's not correct at all. This and is then she's not got that like whatsoever. The, she's got the fucking pixie two, haircut and shit. We're not here to talk about any documentary, all right? Okay, I, I think I'm done with the clips. So big ups to all for streaming this and having the clips. I do appreciate that. First of all, the mere fact the first thing that come out of his mouth is that this isn't a pregnancy uh, uh, stream. We're not here to announce that she's pregnant. Knowing that she's as big as she is, Phil, you, you don't see that. You don't see that. You don't see that correlation, Phil. No, she's not pregnant. She's just fat. It's it just another, another fucking dig at Kat. It, it's, 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 it's not a, I don't think he's purposely doing it, but he treats his wife like shit. Like when he talks about how she fucking ruins dinner, how she breaks everything in the fucking house, how no, she's not pregnant. She's just a big girl. It's just these subtle things that you don't do that shit to your spouse. You just don't. The first thing that should have came out of your mouth is, uh hey guys just a quick surprise my beautiful wife cat looking lovely right next to me is gonna be on stream everybody say hi to her and just move the fuck on you don't have to mention pregnancy you don't have to mention it's just these fucking subtle digs phil it's just fucking pathetic it is the other thing too is that i wanted to say is uh then you're gonna say it's not about the documentary Bullshit. This is all about the documentary. I have a feeling what ended up happening was piece of, I'm not piece of piece. What ended up happening was uh Mike said, Look, we're gonna have to put your wife in the in, in the in the documentary. If you don't put her in the documentary, how are you gonna kinda tell your story? People are gonna be like, Who the fuck is this wife he's referencing? Where's Kat? Did she leave? Oh, she must be huge because she doesn't want to show herself. It's just, it, the documentary becomes about where's Kat, essentially. And we all know that Phil, uh, you know, this documentary is all about Phil. He can get two shits about Kat. Uh, he just has her as a piece there. Like, yep, I'm married, folks. Look at me. I'm married. I'm an adult. That's all he gives a shit about. That and someone to cook and clean his... Cook clean and, and, and be there. Give him some company, right? So he doesn't want to make fucking Kat the focal point at all. So I'm assuming what happened was Mike talked with him and said, Look, dude, we, she's going to have to be in it. Whether a small piece, a quick interview, she's going to have to be in it. So Phil, of course, said, all right, well, I don't want the documentary to be about Kat, even if she's on, because everyone's going to talk about how big she is. So the documentary talking boy is going to be how big Kat is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to convince Soul Maid that she needs to come on stream because it helps the business, because it's going to make me happy. And he probably fucking wore this chick down for the last couple months, ever since he decided to do this fucking documentary with Mike Klum. He probably browbeated her and said, look, you're going to have to do it. You're going to have to do it. You're going to have to do it. 
So let's pick a night stream. And funny, funny, funny he picked a night stream, not a day stream, where he gets more views and more eyes. He decided to do a night stream as if he was trying to hide uh, this uh, big, no pun intended, this big uh, reveal. <laughs> Sorry, your boy Duty just, he's trying, to not, he's trying not to make puns, but the puns sometimes write themselves. And what he tried to do is he's like, all right, well, I'm going to show her. Uh, let all the jokes out, make fun of her, make her look fat, you know, talk about her bigness, talk about her hair, get it all out so that the next couple months, that's what people will talk about, make content, and then by the time the documentary comes out, it's not a big deal because everybody knows that Cat is a big girl. And then the attention will be back on me and no one will get two shits about Cat. Or Cat doesn't even have to be in the, uh, documentary. They may just show her, like, once hiding behind a sofa. Uh, you know, the sofa she cries on when, when she's downstairs. Maybe, just to kind of show her she's still here and that's it. So the documentary solely becomes all about film. We all know that this is all about film. My other issue with this fucking thing is... Kat's just not mentally there. I'm not saying that she's mentally deficient or any of that stuff. Not, I'm not, I know some people would speculate that she may have autism or might be on the spectrum. She, she might have some slowness going on. I don't think she's autistic. I think, you know, she might have some just emotional issues from her childhood and maybe she didn't you know she hasn't seen a therapist to talk about you know she she may not be the smartest person in the in the you know the smartest the sharpest tool in the shed but not everyone can be the sharpest tool in the shed you know what i mean it is what it is um i think it was completely fucking shitty if he'll bring her on stream it just was it was if you watch the stream she was so fucking awkward this was 2018 all over again where she spent the vast majority of the night looking at the screen to see chat to see what the fuck they were saying about her. And the moderators were fucking banning and, and deleting shit like crazy. If he was even slightly remotely a dig or something that, that, that the moderators thought that Cat wouldn't like, they deleted that shit fucking quick. I mean, he, I think he had about five or six people fucking moderating for him last night. Uh, but she still fucking read it because she was eyeballing chat like a fucking hawk. Like, like if it was sushi served up and she just wanted that sushi, that the, she was just fucking hungry. And that's what she was doing. And that's not good for her mental fucking wellness, especially being that the last time she did it, she, she probably had a fucking panic attack. She was probably fucking devastated. That shit probably haunted her for fucking years to the point where she just refused to be on stream and fucking do anything with your fucking content, Phil. And to bring her on and 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 make her essentially say, Oh yeah, I'm here in my own volition, everything's fine. No, if you watch any bit of this stream, you could just tell that she just was not fucking comfortable. And the thing was, Phil didn't make her fucking comfortable. He did the same bullshit he did back in 2018 where he just talked all over her. He would ask her a fucking question... She would start answering, and then he tried to fucking finish it for her. Like, yeah, yeah, I know you're a retard. I know you're slow. Let me help you. Let me answer it for you. And it's like, let her fucking speak. Okay, she may she may take a second or two to pause and think about what she wants to say. She's just reflecting on what she wants to fucking say. Silence doesn't mean a problem. People, Phil's one of those people that just can't have fucking silence because he thinks there's a problem, you know. And, and, and he has to fucking just intersect and interject and fucking answer for and it's just like dude shut the fuck up no one's here to watch you people were there to watch yeah they were people were there they were interested that's why i was on if, if she wasn't on i wouldn't give a fuck if mike Plum would have probably been on, i would have checked it out but when i realized she was going to be on i listened to it and i was like all right i want to hear what cat had to say fuck you phil nobody gives a shit about your stupid ass self you fucking talk non-stop all day we know what the fuck you like or you don't we we know everything about you, and we just don't give a fuck. You're just a boring motherfucker. But we want to find out what the fuck Cat been up to for five years. And mainly, is she alive? Uh, oh, by the way, big ups to all for those pictures. I know he got a lot of shit about the graininess of the pictures, but that was her. And also, big ups to Duty for last, about two years ago, a year and a half ago, the grainy picture, not the grainy picture, the picture where people thought it was an Asian boy in Phil's car when it was actually Cat. You could tell that was that was big girl Cat. Uh, so big ups to Duty and all. For uh, posting those images. <laughs> okay, I think there was another thing I wanted to see real quick. Uh, oh man, where was it? Let me see. Hold on a second. Larcm fool. He says, "Cap, please oh, yeah? PSP to finish Who is the he? story of the Quiet Man side B." Oh, oh. <laughs> the, the classic Mario. 
answer the question and move on. Uh-oh, Richard is asking, can we see a smooch? Will we get another smooch? I doubt it, but it's possible. Richard Hines is donating for that in Phil's chat. You don't have to do anything you don't want to, honey. Okay, um... No, the last uh, the last time he got that closer, she almost fucking ate him, dude. To see we can get through them, he has to like maintain a distance now. Earlier, and if I see Ever since last time. It. Uh, so we don't talk about last time. Well, yeah, Judder, you're right. Yeah. Dude is acting shocked for five dollar tips. Yep, yeah, this go. is for cat. This is so I don't have that nah. much money, here, honey. They did not kiss on stream today. No, no kisses. So this is well, someone I was nice. wondering uh, if he's fucking on the reg. I guess you got your answer tonight. Kids. Man, I'm happy to see you ended up with a lovely wife and a family with Jasper. Best of luck to you moving forward. Thank uh -huh. you. That's Thank you. Nice That's a very nice message. Very yeah. normal message to get on for a YouTube and... streamer. Wow, I think this is deleting emails that I'm not deleting. Yeah. It's not special anymore, right? Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. So yeah. We'll yeah. So we'll see. We'll talk about it behind the scenes. We'll get our, We'll see how Cap, you know, feels mm -hmm. about coming back, when she wants to come back, and we'll go from there. But again, you guys were awesome. Shout out to... Uh, Swaggins, Eight. who popped his membership there and said, Great stream, 2024 Swaggins. is going to be a fun year. I told Why didn't he say pop their membership when he was talking about Derek's membership? <laughs> yeah, I want to hear pop And he used that phrasing with Derek. He <laughs> yeah. didn't say it with his. He said it with everybody but him, actually. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now, there you go. And by the way, one, there was one final super chat here as well from The Stranger. You both look great. It was great to see you, Cat. Uh -huh. Thanks for taking time. Uh, thanks for taking care of our boys. Love you guys. There yeah. you go. Yeah. All right. Dick. All right. That is it, guys. Thank you so very, very much. I hope that you guys enjoyed tonight's stream. And obviously, this will be two parts you can watch and. on demand on YouTube after the fact. And uh, we'll be getting back to you about doing it possibly again. All right. Thank you all. No, yes. you're not. Have a good night and see you yes. soon. Bye. Bye. I love you. <laughs> Bye. Okay. So confirmation roommate, team roommate right there for our boy, uh, Phil and uh, and Kat. No, no chemistry, no affection, no no pd pda no none of that just i mean not even a hand on her shoulder or our hand holding something just to kind of show yeah you know we, we we're married we love each other blah 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 just nothing at all no kiss no even tap on the fucking cheek just disgust look at phil phil's like god i can't wait to get your big ass out of my room because i want to play wwe champions because you know i got that 305 dollars which you ain't going to see shit of and I'm going to be playing WWE Champion. So big ups. TJ Gamebox. Hopefully you're out there calculating how much Phil spent last night on WWE Champions. Because I'm pretty sure it's going to be several hundred dollars. Anyway. Um, yeah. It just. I I felt gross man watching this honestly. Because I, I just saw kind of someone. That you could tell just, just. Just is uncomfortable with being on screen. Being forced to be on screen. From her significant other. And having to deal with that. And. I probably wouldn't have said that if she didn't spend the whole fucking night looking at chat. That's all she was doing. Because she remembers what happened to her five years ago. And that shit left a fucking mark on her that she won't easily forget. It, she just she just won't. And to have Phil bring her the fuck on to um, essentially rebrand himself. Now, again, that's what this is all about. This is all the rebranding. Uh, this goes all back again to 2022-2023 with the Side Scrollers interview, with the new channel, with Phil trying to fucking rebrand himself. That's what this is. This is a do-over. And you notice he's doing the same bullshit. New channel, uh, not, no drama, no begging, uh, and a documentary. And of course, he's trying to clean up his, his, his image of being a shitty-ass fucking husband. And this didn't, this didn't do it for you, Phil. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She looked like a. She looked like fucking someone that has Stockholm syndrome, and she was there as a fucking prisoner of war. And if you look at her hand waving, she's probably like, "Help! Help! Help!" You know, that's a sign. That's the international sign of "Please help me. I'm trapped." She. It just. It was just bad, Phil. I think this was a terrible decision on your part to fucking do this. It just was. Honestly, it was. Um. The only other way I could have seen Phil doing this, probably that wouldn't have come off so bad, is just have Cat do it. Come in, make an announcement, and fucking leave, and let Cat do it. You had the you had the moderators in chat. You had everything going for her. She would have been fine, and just let her talk, and you not fucking be there, because it looks like it. Honestly, it looks like you fucking have her chained up to the chair, and you have like a hot poker. And if she uh, says something inappropriate, he's gonna poke her in the side. That's what th the whole fucking night was just that vibe, and I felt so bad for her. She was so fucking uncomfortable. 
And you could just tell she didn't want to be there and she was just there because Phil just probably fucking beat the dead horse and, and she was just like, fine, I'll come on, leave me the fuck alone. You know? And it's just sad. It's really sad. I really felt bad for Kat on this stream. I did. Uh, now, with that said, of course, there's going to be tons of videos and drama for the next few weeks about uh, Kat. <laughs> and your boy Duty's here to cover it. So, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Those were my thoughts on the, uh, on, on whatever the fuck this was called because this was a fucking disaster. These, these two really need to seek a fucking mental health counselor. They need to see a therapist. And Kat specifically, she does. I think she needs to do some healing. Maybe get away from this fucking pig roach and, and try to get herself in a good state because this isn't it, homie. This this is not it. <laughs> Crying emoji to chat. Alright, babe. Talk to you later. Peace out.